I'm Cool Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do an everyday makeup for weddings. Before we get started, I just got out of the shower, but don't worry, I'm going to remove my pencil pink hair towel when I do the thumbnail from my makeup table. It looks better to do thumbnails on my makeup table. My mom agrees. I did my brows and my left eye off camera. It is very natural. I skipped a lower lash line. I wanted to make it good for every day and for weddings. I'm going out with my mom later to Bio Village. I love the eye look so far. I just had to add mascara. All the makeup that I'm going to be using will be drugstore and affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And out your chat. Let's get started. I might get married in the future. I don't know. My boyfriend's name is Nathan. I met him late 2018. And it was love at first. Sight. I'm not sure if I have a photo of me and him. I'm not too sure. But right next to my nightstand, I do of prom 2019. I can't show it to you. I might have to take a photo of that. So it looks good. Nathan is the man of my dreams. Like I said, the eye look is very simple. It's very Natural, I can wear this every day, not just when I get married. I just want to look flawless. On to the makeup. Dry primer, I took the hard candy one. You know, drill, and I wait for this to dry before doing the left eye. And, of course, I did my brows using the Animal Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil in Auburn. Now I just have to smooth them down for 90 style brows or early 2000s. That looks good. The palette that I'm using is the one from Claire's. This is sort of like an everyday palette. Any neutral eyeshadow palette will do. And there's a peachy toned blush that I'm going to use for everyday. And here is the brush that I have. I'll put a photo. I took this late 2020. And it's sort of worth it. I got it as a Christmas present. All the brushes that I'm going to be used can be drugstore one equal tools brush is from the start today beautiful kits my foundation brush is from elf and my powder brush is from dharma so that's good it only takes three eyeshadows for the crease i'm taking a light brown and it needs to be built up right next to the hard candy one i'm not hitting pan on these claire's Eyeshadows, not just yet. I think that's good. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools Fine Crease Brush from the Start Today Beautiful Kit. I can't speak. I woke up at 10. I woke up very late. I have to shower. And now my mom is making breakfast. And then we'll go out for Value Village. Once I have enough pigment, I'm going to blend it. The car speeder, when I open my eyes, this is the perfect everyday crease shade. I'm going to blend it a little bit. So it's good. I'm skipping the lower lash line. The lower lash line is completely optional. I would like to go for a darker shade, like a dark brown or something a little bit more peachy. I guess there is a peachy shade. I'm not sure if it has any shimmer, but it's beautiful. I'm using my fingers to apply the shimmery eyeshadow because it's better for the lid. I'm taking this shimmery pink. Oh yeah, it doesn't need to be filled up. One layer is all you need. And for the inner corner, I'm taking the shimmery white, the most used out of this palette. This is the perfect everyday inner corner shade it looks good it will awaken my eyes i'm not sure the correct words to say i get plus mascara and i'm gonna be right back 
Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. I also complete. Ignore the mascara flakes on my eyelids. I was trying my best to be extra careful, but my glasses will be covered it. Anyways, when I go out, I took my favorite waterproof mascara. Yes, you do need waterproof mascara just in case you cry. I took the Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Mascara in brownish black. Brownish black. No, I'm not trying to flip you off. This is just my favorite drugstore waterproof mascara. It is black with a little bit of brown in it. I like it better than very black. And now on to the foundation. As always, I took the Nivea Care Cream as soon as I got out of the shower on my face and neck. I took, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and Wild Too Fair Porcelain. And this does not have a pump, unfortunately, so I like to use a Q-tip. So, dip it in. I always use this for a base. And now swipe it on. I have freckles, redness, and pimples. I think one dip is all I need. I guess a little bit goes a long way. And this is the perfect match for me. And this foundation doesn't have any SPF, which is great for flash photos. I I did wear this foundation in my school photos back in 2019 to 2020, and they looked pale. I definitely remember that. I got this foundation back in 2019, and now let me screw the cap on because I'm putting it in my makeup toolbox. The foundation brush that I'm using is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blender Brush, and now I'll start blending in. Yes, I like to use my hands off camera when doing my base, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a foundation brush. And once I'm done filming, I'm gonna clean the brushes using Johnson's baby shampoo because my mom is cooking me brunch. Make sure all the foundation is blended. I don't want to disturb the eyes. Usually for makeup tutorials, I like to do my face first and my eyes last. But for today, I'm doing my eyes first and my base last. I noticed that I got fallout, but this is a very natural everyday wedding makeup now on the forehead i'm being extra careful not to get this in my pastel pink hair towel but i will wash it when it gets dirty try not to cover the brows and now for setting powder i have oily skin i'm taking the cody air spun and naturally neutral. I always love to set my face with powder because I get oily. And yes, this powder gets messy. I'm just taking a little bit, about that much. And then grabbing my powder brush from Dorama. And then shaking off the excess. And then dots. This is a must step for oily skin like myself for setting powder. If you have dry skin, this is completely optional. But I like to do it because of my oily skin. And yes, loose powders do get messy, but I have to be extra careful. And this. This powder doesn't make me look pale. And it doesn't flash back in photos, which is really nice. Oh god. It's getting all over my makeup table. Looks like I have to 
clean it after I'm done filming. And I hope I don't seize on camera like my last time for my how to get soft kissable lips, I guess. And it's getting all over my Claire's makeup palette and my pink skirt. Looks like I have to wash it. I think that looks good. I'm going to clean up the setting powder and I'm going to be right back. I tried my best to clean off my makeup table but the powder's still there looks like i have to grab water for blush i'm taking the exact st Clair's makeup palette and this peachy blush i'm just taking a little bit on the brush that came with the palette about that much i might oh uh, i'm not sure if i might need more and then the flyer to apples on my cheeks is very light now we gotta hurry because my mom called me for brunch. Okay. For lipstick, I'm taking the Wet Mild Soap Finish Lipstick in. Will you be with me? This leaves a pretty thing. Okay. That's good for every day and for weddings. So here is a completed makeup for our weddings. Yes, I can wear it every day. So it's good. So stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.